drone. You don't need a drone. That's another thing I use once every couple months and I'm afraid of it. Oh, I hate this part. <laughs> That's fun. Show me how it's done. I don't know how to do it. Give me a chance to warm up. I gotta go to the shop. I need more room. Sweet. Yeah! Kyle had Heelys. Alright, how are you doing this? I just threw off my Heelys. So you're... Ooh. Okay, so you're barely lifting your toes. Oh my gosh, look at him go. 50 weekly videos in a row. May have missed a week or two or had some delays, but that's because I had no internet and I couldn't. Also, I've learned that if I make titles that are searchable and I actually give value in a video, they do well. So I'm gonna give you guys some pieces of advice. SSD hard drives. I highly recommend Samsung. They have the T5s and T7s. You can get like a terabyte of a T5 for under a hundred bucks. These are great. I edit right off these. Don't buy one of those big chunky things that are cheap and slow. It'll take you a week to import and export your footage. Fast SSDs, and they're tiny. You can put them in your pocket. Music. I, I use Artlist. So I have a, a subscription to Artlist and Epidemic Sound. I just bought the year for Epidemic Sound. It was like a hundred bucks or something. Um, and I, I want my money back. <laughs> Everyone is uh, sponsored by Epidemic Sound, but I, it's, there's no like artists on it. So Artlist is just full of like actual artists that have actual music. And I am just a big fan. I, that's what 99% of my videos have is Artlist music. Epidemic Sound, there's like no, I mean, there maybe is a couple artists, but if you search, it's just, it's just stock type music, it feels like. There's no lyrics or anything. It's a lot easier to navigate on Epidemic Sound, like if I want to find a certain genre or year even, um, that, that's great for Epidemic Sound, but they just don't have the music I'm, I want. So I'm a hater. Get Artlist. Editing, I use Final Cut Pro. Most people use Premiere. There's a lot more YouTube videos on how to use Premiere and all that stuff, but it's all the same, I feel. If you want to edit on mobile, if you have like an iPhone or an iPad, get LumaFusion. I get a lot of friends that actually ask me for advice on what they should get on their iPhone for video editing. And I tell all of them, get LumaFusion. They never listen to me. Um, audio is really important. So I got my big Rode Mic Go 2. This is what I use when I'm by myself and don't want to get attention because this thing is kind of big. But it's like a hundred bucks and you get great audio. You don't need any batteries for it. Mm, good stuff. If I need another shotgun mic that is small and low profile, I go with the Shure. I forget which one this is, but it's also a hundred bucks. It's very small. It apparently has a built-in wind thing, so you don't have to add one of these, they call them dead cats, um, to this. So very low profile. I recommend this if you want to have something small and a little discreet. If you want great, if you, I mean, it's still really good audio, but if you want really good audio, I recommend this. And I'm currently using the DJI wireless mic system, which if you wanna go wireless, I recommend that. It comes in this little charging box like the AirPods. Uh, you get two mics and a receiver and it has all these um, adapters that you can hook up to like USB-C, lightning. Um, yeah, I also have the Rode Wireless Go. So as a comparison, that system is very clunky. I think I like the audio a little bit better on the Rode, but as far as workflow, it's just, it's a pain in the butt. So DJI gets the, the win in my book. 
Mini tripods, I could talk for hours about tripods and mini tripods. I have a bajillion of them. But the ones that I always grab are the Manfrotto Pixie. This is a great tripod because it's easy. You just press the button and you can move it around. That's awesome. But if you have a big camera, this is not strong enough. But if it's a medium sized mirrorless APS-C camera, this is perfect. This is the Nebula, uh, Anchor Nebula tripod, I think. This thing is great. This I trust with my life with like a big camera. It's thing, this thing is great. Uh, and it packs down really small, it's light, and you can get higher shots. So, Nebula tripod. Ugh, I'm gonna have to do affiliate links, aren't I? And what, I'm gonna make like 70 cents, and then I have to figure out how to pay taxes on that, and I do it wrong, I'm gonna go to jail. All right, I'm gonna talk about a couple things you don't need. I would say, and this might be controversial, but I would say you don't need a gimbal. You can get cool footage from it, but you don't need it. I haven't, I use my gimbal once every three months. Drone, you don't need a drone. That's another thing I use once every couple months and I'm afraid of it. They should be illegal. I don't know how drones are or not, but buy old. You don't need 4K, 1080p, it's perfectly fine for YouTube. I'll fight you. Also ignore my hair and face um, spoilers. Anyways, we're gonna continue this vlog. I'm going to Detroit to meet my friend Madison. I think you should get these. We need it. <laughs> All right, success. No, was, Words are hard. Words are hard. We had a successful trip at Urban Outfitters. Got some records. Urban Outfitters. <laughs> Urban Artifacts. Now we're doing our arts and crafts project. We got our box. We're gonna get some leaves at this park. And then we're gonna do a kitty cat photo shoot that you saw in a TikTok or reel? Yep. I just rushed to the test field to give myself a haircut because there's just a little bit of daylight left and I got about an hour and a half until we get back to work. But where we do our testing is an AMA field and they do, um, a lot of guys come out here and fly their planes and that's what's going on right now. If you can see, yeah. So I don't know, I might just, I really need a haircut. So I think I'm just gonna cut my hair in the van I don't know how I feel about the mustache. Coworkers and friends are like, you gotta keep it going and stuff, but I'm, hmm. I don't know who to trust. <laughs> closed or short position and I'm going to leave it in this position for most of the haircut. Why is there a sticker on the mirror? Are you f This is not looking good so far. I can't do th I can't do this.
I hear the guys. I think they're leaving. And then you're also going to do the other side before. Is that even cutting? Birds can use it as their nest. It's, it's good for nature. So I feel terrible. I unboxed this already with uh, my friend Madison. We just had zero energy when we did it and I didn't like the footage. I opened it with my raptor claw thing. Anna, thank you so much for the gift. This is so cool and what a very nice thoughtful letter. I wish I had handwriting like this. Like my handwriting sucks. Also, she has her own YouTube channel. I just subscribed to it. I think she just started up, but here's her YouTube channel. Check her out. But check this out. It's a candle thing. Look at that. I hear things out there. I think it's just the highway in the distance. She also got me some stickers. And I love this one a lot. Focus. Artsy fartsy. And some ice chips candy, pina colada flavored. I might have, that could be good. And I believe that's everything, which is a lot of stuff. <gasps> Wait, Turtle Island Tangerine? Hanging air freshener, I need that. Thank you. I don't deserve this stuff. Anyways, tonight's a super cozy night. The temperature is perfect. I have not been sweating my butt, butt off in the van, as you all have noticed, I'm sure. Which is fantastic. But the cold is coming. And my diesel heater is not working, so that I need to figure that out in the next couple weeks. Got to fix that. Let's put some cozy clothes on. Good morning. It's so cold. I need to find my zero degree sleep bag. I need to fix my diesel heater. I need to find a home. <laughs> I'm not ready for another winter. Oh, all right, let's get to the office. Let's do some editing. Woo. My glasses are cold. So I had a Tinder date lined up for tomorrow morning. And, you know, we've been talking for a little bit. <coughs> and our schedules haven't matched up. And I kind of, like, forgot about it. And then she was like, hey, what are you doing Saturday morning? And I was like, nothing. Let's do something. We're going to go get coffee. It's like like a morning date type thing. And uh, confirmed with her today. I was like, just confirming we're doing this tomorrow. Coffee. And she's like, yes, can't wait. And then I was like... 
I did in my head. I'm like, I did just give myself a haircut, and I do have this mustache. So I was like, hey, just a heads up. No, I mean, I'll show you the receipt. I said, I don't want to catfish you, haha. I gave myself a haircut today, and we are doing a mustache thing until our next gig in a week. Got to show up the young guys, lol. But, but I'll shave it if you hate it, haha. And I sent her the photo of myself. And then she goes, hey, so I realize there's a connection I want to explore further, and that's the only one I want to explore. <laughs> I realized that just now, after hanging out with him, wanted to be honest, I'm sorry, good luck on your app adventures. I go, no worry, good luck. It was actually really nice of her to say, but I, I just found it really funny. I need to know everything. Who in the what and the where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George. I hop in the Porsche, five and a horse. I'm ready for war. I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost. I need to know everything.